again, so much love and appreciation for uh, the life of Greg and, and as we continue to travel up Highway 400, passing Highway 88, uh, again, uh, a massive uh, showing of uh, respect and honor on the overpass, flags flying, officers, the public standing at attention. side here as well doing a fly, fly pass. That is beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. You know, I can, I can only hope that that Greg's death has, oh gosh, as heartbreaking as it is for myself, for everybody here, for the OPP, for the members of the community, I just, you know, I can only hope and pray that, that this isn't in vain. I know for myself, I see some kind of promise out of this, some kind of good that could come. And I hope, as the commissioner had spoke before about bail reform, changes that need to be made within our legal system to ensure that events like this don't happen again. Yeah. I know Greg, Greg talked about that himself. You know, we, we'd sit down and have long talks, particularly on night shifts, about how to make our streets safer, starting with things like bail reform and keeping bad people out of communities to keep them safe, you know. Our mission within the OPP is safe communities to secure Ontario and, and it has to start from there with ensuring that things like this don't happen again, especially especially to the innocent. And Greg is he's as innocent as they come. He's he's a sacrificial lamb, you know, if, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. Well, you know, this should not be happening and you know, he, he vowed to serve the province of Ontario, the people of Ontario, and he paid with his life. And uh, we honor and respect him for his commitment to public service and, and thank him for what he's done. Uh, he has made the world a better place in the work that he's accomplished, and we will continue to do the work that he started and that has been ongoing for so long. We will continue to do that to keep our community safe. That that's what that's what our role is. We're here to uh, you know make our communities as safe as they can, so we can enjoy you know the freedoms that that we have. And you know, far too early in his career, a year into his career, and uh, cut short. And here we are with him right now, Greg Prichella, you know, in the hearse traveling northbound Highway 400, approaching Highway 89 now, coming in towards Barry. He was killed in Haldeman while he was responding to a car in the ditch. Uh, a pretty simple call. Uh, a routine call that we get, you know, all the time. Like, it's, you really don't think, I, I know we're always supposed to be alert and aware, but it's like, you do that kind of call a hundred times and it's so innocuous. Yeah. Right? At least seemingly. And, you know, Greg, it's like, knowing him, he's just looking to go to that and saying, hey, is everybody okay here? Like, you were just involved in a car accident. Yeah. And then to think that he's brutally taken away from us in full blood is just... Yeah. And, and it's horrific. It's, yeah. it's angering, you know? Like I said before, I, I, I can only pray that that there's some good that, that comes from this. Yeah. Well, again, our my deepest condolences to the Prichella family who are right now at the funeral home waiting for Greg's arrival uh, as we bring him as we bring him home, yeah. uh, surrounded by his friends and colleagues. 
giving him the honor that he deserves, and the life that he lived, and the sacrifice that he uh, endured in, in, by losing his life. You know, just an incredible man with so much more to give and, and cut down far too fast. You know, a gray day here on the roads, a gray day for everybody who knew and loved Greg. <coughs> and as we uh, come into the town of Innisfil, a community that was also devastated by tragedy not long ago when two of their officers were uh, struck down as well. And, and not long before that, another Toronto police officer was shot. And, you know, the senselessness of these uh, situations. You know, we wear body armor, we wear our uniform with pride. We have equipment to protect ourselves, to defend ourselves, and to keep our community safe. And uh, you know, tragically, it wasn't enough. And uh, Greg lost his life doing what he, I guess, dreamt to do for his entire life, right? Yeah, I, I, I spoke with his family at the hospital. And, you know, Greg had shared with me in the past, saying how, he's like, I think this is an honorable profession. He's like, I'm happy to be a part of it. And when I spoke with his mom at the hospital, um, and, and God bless her right now because I can't imagine what that must be like to, to lose your son, especially a son as good as Greg. Yeah. But, you know, she said from like day one, like kindergarten, um, wanted to be a cop. Really? And just like that was his, that or like the military. <laughs> like, you know, it's like he wanted to get back in some kind yeah. of way. Did he talk about his time in the military? Did he tell stories? Right, and we're just coming up to 89. He, uh, so he was, I think, part-time reservist. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I believe believe that's the case. Yeah. And he, he saw it as just a great opportunity to um, expand his knowledge and experience, you know, get a taste for it, see if it was right for him. And he really ended up feeling like, like policing was the path that he was meant to go on. Yeah. And, you know, even, even for such a short career, it's like he painted one hell of a picture. <laughs> you know, he really did. Yeah. This is Highway 89. Again, look at this uh, overwhelming show of support here. Uh, members of uh, policing communities, OPP, South Simcoe. We're getting into Barrie as well, and we will uh, see a Barrie City Police as well. Uh, and we saw the York Regional uh, helicopter fly overhead. Uh, and do a fly past uh, in front of the procession. Uh, a very fitting uh, show of, uh, of honor. Well, I guess all his time, Greg, uh, again, uh, people joining. Uh, this is the, the procession of uh, Greg Fuschella. He was killed earlier this week in Haldeman County responding to a uh, vehicle in the ditch, which is a call that we respond to all the time, all the time, every day, a regular basis. Uh, we just came through a, a pretty significant winter storm. There was cars and ditches everywhere. And uh, as Greg approached, I don't know all that happened, but I know he was his life was was cut short.